I'm Mark Hall with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System here with Ohio State University bioengineering professor, Dr. John Fulton. John, when you sent me this uh, slide presentation, I had to Google telemetry to see what you were talking about. <laughs> John explained gathering useful data from remote places to help our growing our crops. Well, the, you know, the world's becoming connected, Mark, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about smartphones and, and Wi-Fi and, and everything else that, uh, you know, think of a portion of the day that you're not connected to the Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, telemetry is, uh, is uh, basically the connectivity that's being built by companies uh, with their machines primarily uh, that, uh, that we're seeing. And now are uh, a common option that growers can take advantage of, and, and so... It's uh, become a, a key technology as we think about this, uh, this evolving precision ag, digital ag uh, piece that's going on in agriculture today. Data, 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 data. Data. So, and telemetry can bring value, but it is a cost. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, the premise here is that, um, and, you know, you and I have talked about it. I mean, we're already connected to the Internet. I mean, we're yes. carrying these smartphones or farms, and so we're connected to the Internet. And, and we look at machinery. We look at the consumer world. I mean, people, what they've got in their houses today and, and what Amazon, for example, is offering. I mean, uh, the Internet of Things is, is growing. This is just an example. And, uh, you know, the Internet of Things and agriculture is growing uh, very quickly. And so uh, we're connected. Uh, I'll just make the comment that uh, tractors and new sprayers and, and combine harvests are coming out of the factories with uh, embedded modems in them, and so they're connected today. And so, you know, we just see this this connectivity piece growing, and and so it's it's becoming something that uh, growers need to need to consider, understand, and, and potentially can utilize. And I just think that. Uh, with that, and of course, data, as you mentioned, is a big thing. And this is just a, a recent survey that kind of uh, outlines some of the uses of that what growers are using their data for, or having help with their data from others. And so, the the point is, data and the usage of it is growing. And but uh, the key thing is, when we look at precision ag technology, I would I would make the the comment that. 80% of the the data that's collected at the field level on the machine is not even ever in an actionable place. It never gets downloaded or it gets stuck kind of in a folder someplace and it's never used. But uh, I think as we get connected, we can move and access that data. It's going to become a, a tool and, and an information piece for growers. And so I just wanted again to highlight that telemetry is not a, in the mainstream. Uh, this just, this just kind of reminds us where we're at, you know, uh, we actually transfer data on thumb drives and, and other physical type devices today, and that's almost 80% of the, the folks in the, that are, are playing in the data business here in agriculture. Uh, but we also use uh, emails or FTP, Dropbox, such things like that. And, but telemetry is still a, a very small, but I expect if we sat down in, in another five years, Mark, that, that the pie chart's going to look a whole lot different because of just the advancement and the cost of technology. So that's kind of where we're at today. I mean, this is where we're headed. If in some cases, maybe already there where machines uh, are connected and that data is kind of flowing through this piece that we call telemetry, um, it can be a real asset. I mean, we were talking earlier, you know, the fact is that you used to carry thumb drives in meetings yes. all the time, right? But now you can show up and have that presentation on Dropbox or your box account and you just pull it up. I mean, it's, it's, there's so an efficiency nice. there, right? And so most of these companies uh, that are providing telemetry have cloud storage or, and that's how they're, they're managing that. But think about that, just having that at, you know, I get done, it's accessible anywhere that I'm at in the world. And so uh, that's, there's some value there. And then the other thing is I can share that data with people much more readily now that it's in a place and, and I know where it is. And so if I'm working with you, Mark, and we're working on a project, we've got it out there. We can get it off the machine. I got access to it. Hey, I want grant access to Mark. And, and you know, you don't have to come up and see me, though I'd like to see you. But uh, you don't have to bring your thumb drive down for me to download all that data onto that. So It's a real improvement. Yeah. So this is where we're headed. Again, I just want to highlight that there's a, a small fraction of the ag industry in North America 
uh, and even Europe and down under and such that are using it, but it's, it's an ever-growing technology here. So just a definition. I mean, you said you had to do a little uh, Google search to figure out. Yes. And uh, this is Ag Gateway. That's an or a nonprofit organization working on e-commerce or standardization of data in ag, but they define it as a transmission and receiving data over long distance. Uh, and, and so that's what we're doing. And, and what I would tell you is I can push data to you or I can pull data from that machine. And so we were talking, we've talked about prescriptions for fertilizer and seeding in some of these uh, uh, sessions. Uh, now I can make that at my, at my uh, laptop or desktop and through telemetry I can push it out to the machine very simply today. Or once it's done and we've got the as, as applied or as planted data, I can pull that back through pretty quickly. And again, I don't have to make a trip to the farm or to that machine to, to do either one of those processes today. Um, there's, a, there's all kinds of uh, telemetry out there. A majority of them I just highlight are using cellular type coverage. The irrigation things that our friend Dennis Bragg uses on all his systems, yeah. that would be telemetry? That's right. And so, you know, in that case, you got an app that allows you to either see the, the pivots running, uh, potentially turn them on and off, for example, or make adjustments to, to, to them. That would be telemetry as a, a good example. The other one is, and, and you see an example here, that uh, you can see where a machine is and how it's been moving during transport as an example. But... Uh, but moving that data, having that at your, at your palm in the case of an app, mm -hmm. makes it much more powerful because um, it's there, it's accessible, it's usable, it's, it's a real piece and, and you can make decisions. And so, in, you know, we highlight that key word decision. Dennis can make a decision and he could be in Florida on, on vacation, right? Doing that type of work. This, this makes life better, John. So, and, uh, so whether it's irrigation, it's machinery, it's your grain bins today, for example, mm -hmm. all this, you, you see this, this vast, uh, th this growth of telemetry to be able to, to kind of sign in. Another key thing is, is not only do, can you sign in to see if it's working or not, but in some cases on the machinery side is it can give you the code. So how many times have you driven your car and the little yellow light comes on and you just keep on driving, right? Yes. Now, with some of this telemetry, that actually gets communicated to your dealer and they can give you a call and they could schedule service and know exactly what they're coming to the field to fix before they even come. And so that's just, like you said, a real improvement, uh, an informed visit to your farm yes. versus not knowing what I'm getting into. Bring the part, the yep. trip. Yeah. We want to, you know, I can put telemetry on, on my pivot. That's a fixed asset or an attractor or machine that's a mobile asset. So, uh, soil sensors, for example, you think about the growth of that, uh, especially in the south where irrigation, just to be mo able to monitor, that would be more of a fixed. Um, again, it's become a standard option on, on high horsepower tractors, your combines, cotton harvesters, and sprayers today that regardless of the color they are coming out, they probably have it embedded. Uh, you do have to have a data plan. So you have to, to purchase a data plan, but most of the companies are linked up to make that mm -hmm. easy. And so there is a charge for that. Uh, in other cases, I can bring a MiFi, uh, or there's some opportunity to use the satellite communication. And, and again, I put that down at the bottom. You brought that up, but uh, with the connectivity, uh, the growth of apps where I can be on my smartphone or iPad uh, enables me to watch what's going on or manage or make a decision about that from my, from my fingertips today. It's pretty amazing. Um, these are just a, a kind of a laundry list that a friend of mine provided. I've, I've kind of added, but uh, there's a lot of things that uh, you can do with this. Uh, we were talking about it. Uh, one of the neat things, uh, you think about capital investment, you can geofence your machines. And if the machine leaves outside that geofence, you get an automatic alert. Man, that's neat. And so when I've got a, a quarter million or a half million dollar machine, Ooh. And I've got her yes. parked down at the field, and, and we're done for the night. Um, you know, some of these kind of safety features, That's these are some of the things. But, you know, think about grain storage. I get a text, you know, of the humidity in the, in the grain bin. So I know i got to go down and, and turn the fan on, or I maybe I, in some cases I can yes. do it right from my phone. These are just value-added things. But, again, being able to transmit data to and from the machine and, and remain at your desk or, or not have to deal with that thumb drive as you know, really improves your ability to, to make use and brings value to that data as well. 
So these are just some examples. Um, types of data, we're just kind of throwing this out that, that we see being offered. Uh, and this is just electronic, but agronomic data, the yield data we've talked about. Yes. As a plant, planted data we talked about in the precision seeding portion. The machine data, you know, uh, show that again real quick. But now we can, we can, I can put my production data in an app or I can have my hired hands dealing, putting that information in. Uh, remote sense imagery, again, coming through the apps or, or just some data that we talk a lot about today. This like, would be a real asset in the uh, prescriptive that, that that's right. you talk about a lot. Pre prescriptive planning or prescriptive spraying. It, it makes much more higher efficiency. That's why you see a lot of retailers that are running, uh, doing custom app, that uh, custom applications will use a lot of the telemetry mm -hmm. to, to push and pull data, plus mm -hmm. they're managing their assets. They want to know where they are and make sure they're in the right field. So uh, these are just uh, a handful of the solutions common to the United States and Canada. Uh, but just to kind of to say that, you know, there's a, quite a few different ones. You see some of the, the large companies, of course, the machine companies all have theirs, but there's third parties as well that, uh, that enable some of this. And, and, and that list could go go on and so some of those are, are listed at the bottom uh, just as just examples here today as we talk about this mark but uh, it's again very growing uh, part of uh, the farm operation and our availability just thought hey while we're at this let's let's just talk about some examples you know and let's talk about uh, maybe where you might see it um, this is an example from John Deere this is my John Deere uh, their operation centers, they call it. But, you know, you see data pulled right in, right off of the machine. I can go and, and log right in when I get home at night. And rather than me having to move data around or such, it's right there for me and I can look yes. at it, Mark. Uh, and better yet, um, in those cases, again, there's other companies that do the same thing. I can access that on an app, uh, but I can also share that too. So if I'm working with you and I, I could call you and give you access and say, Mark, hey, we got field A done. Hey, go take a look at it when you mm -hmm. got an opportunity and it just again efficiencies uh, this is an example actually this company was purchased by climate but 640 labs going back to that machine data this is just a a summary of the field and and <laughs> you get all that summary right right done as soon as you pull out of the field you get uh, fuel usage total fuel use you know how much loading etc all that again is being available to growers today if they want to take advantage and look at some of that you know, and again, the same example here. We've used this in some of the other ones, but uh, but I, I just think this is going to be a growing. If I can take the machine data, Mark, and put it with my yield data and my as planted data, and build that layer, all these different layers. Think about the, the analysis and learning that could take place as we see issues or some some questionable things, and trying to make sure I either don't know what's happening or I do know trying to figure that out it just it's information that can be really valuable to the growers today uh here's just an example taking that machine data this is from uh iowa state just quick i got two uh two sprayers here and you look at the fuel consumption essentially doing the same operation on the same field but you can see a distinct difference in terms of just fuel consumption and so having that um this is a comparison but I would have never known that potentially if I wouldn't have been able to collect the data and see this and even map it out and understand what's going on. So uh, can be very valuable if I'm thinking about uh, purchasing a machine or something. I can use some of this as a, a value added to my decision making. Here's an example. I, I just this this really gets me. Um, how much does a combine cost today, Mark? Five hundred, six hundred thousand. Yeah, quite an investment, right? It's a it's a key uh, machine. Uh, necessary. We talk about the size of these being class nine, class eights today uh, in any state. And uh, to keep that machine running, we want to talk about the efficiency of that machine. And this is just one example yeah. of a combine. Again, using telemetry, we can watch it up there on the top left as an example. But after the day, I can look at this is just summarized over the week. And basically, you see uh, on that bar chart uh, transportation in the green. So there's a portion, you know, we get done with fields, we got transported, uh, and then the downtime essentially is red, and then actually productive time is in blue. But look at the productive time of that particular combine over the four-week period of harvest, and you're looking down in the 50, 
50 to 60 percentile other than week three where it really shot up. And you just start to wonder with that investment, do I, do I really want to be down in that 50 to 60 percentile? You know, I would probably comment you want to be up in that 70 yes. to 80 percent. But again, having this data, having this being able to look at things because you're, they're at your fingertips. And uh, we know this particular producer, once they saw that, they, uh, they noticed that the lunch times and the breaks probably needed to go in order to, to keep that machine, which costs a lot of money. And so there was, there was a change in the operation, but until you get this information, it's kind of hard to do it. We showed this in our, our precision planning. Again, uh, just having that at your fingertips, I could see that today, I can see it tomorrow, but uh, the value that this, this, in this case, row unit ride quality indicating where compaction occurred was just the real value. So in my view, you know, I think you got to weigh the cost out and the value. I'm not saying it's, it's cheap necessarily, but if you're someone starting to use data and you want to collect this data and, and be able to, to utilize it, telemetry begins to make sense. And it can do a lot more than data. Like I said, servicing, working with your dealership, having them uh, be informed when they come out or, or knowing what's going on. You know, they could come out and service your tractor every 500 hours, and they know that information rather than having having someone have you know reporting that back. So, uh, and I also think is our, our last one of our last examples efficiency of these machines. Until you measure it, you really don't know what the efficiency is. And so, there's maybe some things that you might learn either about operators or yourself that uh, I might need to to improve in order to to reduce costs. So, so telemetry. Um, kind of kind of covered the full suite there real quick, Mark. Thank you, John. That really informed me, and hopefully it did our viewers. Thank you for watching our Precision Ag videos, and, and please look at all of them. We've got quite a few with Dr. John Fulton, who's our, our friend and just the best Precision Ag guy I know. Thank you, John. Thank you.